What's up there, everybody? It's your boy, Zeke, the blind bearded chef. That's me, that's me. Look, I'm about to make y'all a good sweet potato pie with the sweet dough. Who likes sweet potato pies with sweet dough? So I'm about to show y'all from beginning to end how I was taught how to make a sweet potato pie with sweet dough. Now, this pie here, I will make it for you for a small fee. <laughs> Anyway, and this ain't no patty pie. I like the patty LaBelle pies, but you know, I think her pies may have tasted better if she make it in her kitchen instead of, you know, those the manufacturer making it in mass quantities. Yeah, so let me show you my pie and how good it's going to be. All right, let's get busy. All right, so our ingredients for our sweet dough. In my pan right here, I got two sticks of butter. And I got um, about a half a cup of Crisco shortening, okay? Right here, I got three cups of all-purpose flour. I have four teaspoons of um, baking powder. You're gonna need some vanilla extract, about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You're gonna need three eggs. You're going to need three eggs, and you're going to need three cups of sugar. All right, let's get this dough together. Okay, your bowl with the with the three cups of flour. Go on and put your four teaspoons of baking powder in there. And stir that in there good. Oh, also, you're going to need one cup of buttermilk. Yeah, I'm using one cup of buttermilk, or you can use whole milk. All right, now right here in my pan, I'm about to cream up this... Um, get my mixer and cream up this um butter and shorten it all right after you cream that up let's go on and add your three cups of sugar so throw that sugar in there all right we're about to make some good sweet dough buttermilk sweet dough for our sweet potato pie All right, that's creamed up. <clears throat> Let's add in about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna pour it, but use two teaspoons. I'm just listening. And add in those, um, add in those three eggs. All right, let's mix that up. Alright, when you got that creamy, go and add your one cup of milk. Alright, as you see, it's still kind of grainy, but once you put that milk in there, we're gonna be about to beat it up. It's about to smooth out. Alright, y'all, got all that creamed up. Look how creamy that is. Now let's add our three cups of flour and four cups of um, baking powder mixture. Let's make this into a our batter so we can knead this out into a dough. All right, there go your batter. Now it's time to um, knead it. Let's add some flour to the surface. All right, y'all, I got me two cups of flour on my surface right here. I'm about to take my batter and pour it right on top. Right on top of that. All right, I got the batter on top of two cups of flour. And I'm going to take one more cup of flour and I'm going to put it on top like that. All right. Now, let me get the knead. All right. Now, I know what I'm going to do. Put it together like that. Let's start kneading. So we're going to knead this into a nice dough. So like I said, y'all see me put two cups of flour at the bottom and one cup of flour on top. And we're going to start with that. All right. See how I'm doing there? Okay. If you're a bread maker like I know how to make bread and all this other stuff, this should come very easy to you. All right. Be right back.
All right, y'all, I need one more cup of flour. So I'm about to put one more cup of flour in there because that other cup wasn't enough. So this one cup of flour should be in. So that was two cups I put down there and two cups on top. All right, let me knead this in. This should be all we need. I'm just slanging flour, baby. <laughs> all right, y'all, you see my dough is <clears throat> still kind of sticky. And this with four cups of flour. So I'm about to put one more cup of flour on it. So this make this make five cups of flour. And we're gonna knead this in and see if that's enough. All right, y'all. Y'all see that right there? That is your sweet dough. This is the dough that's gonna be used for sweet potato pies. So I'm about to take it and I'm about to put it in my in a bowl right here. Uh, put some saran wrap on. I'm gonna let it chill for a while. It's best to wet, it's best to work with cold dough when you're making pies. All right, then let's work on the sweet potato filling. All right, I got three sweet potatoes right here, y'all. That should be enough for one pie. That's three medium slash small sweet potatoes. So let's peel them. Oh, let me show y'all how a blind man peel a sweet potato. See there? I'll just go down. That's why we go by feel. Just go like this. So I do a strip by strip. I take my finger, I feel that's clean, so I go to the next piece. So I just go all the way around it. Alright. Alright, y'all see my three potatoes? They peel. Yeah. I know how to use a knife, baby. Now you're gonna take it and you're gonna cut them. Cut around. Cut around. Alright, y'all see I got my sweet potatoes cut in rounds like that. I washed them off. I got them covered with water. Now I'm about to let them boil till they get tender. Alright. Alright, I just took my potatoes off the stove. I didn't drain them. The water off. I'm going to put them in my bowl right here. And let me tell you what I do. After I drain the water on my sweet potatoes, I put them back on the stove and put them back on a high heat so some of that water will get off. All right. All right, y'all. There go my potatoes. So while it's still hot, I got me a fork. I'm going to get my mix out later. And let me put two ounces of butter in there. So I'm mixing that butter in. Like I say, this is for one sweet potato pie. You're going to adjust <clears throat> these ingredients depending on how many potatoes you got. But I'm doing one sweet potato pie. I'm going to show y'all how I do mine. And I think I make one of the best sweet potato pies because I get it from my mama, my grandmother, my great auntie. Okay, mix that in there. All right, now I'm going to add me a half a tablespoon of butter vanilla butter vanilla abstract let me show okay all right y'all i got a cup of sugar here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just add half of my sugar because i might not need the whole cup let me add a half a cup of sugar okay let me add a half a cup of sugar i'll see if i need the rest later all right let's add one egg one medium egg in there Where's my trash bag? Oh, where's my trash bag? Alright. Okay, put that egg in there. Matter of fact, while that egg in there, let me go and add a little evaporated milk. Uh, for that much, that was about three tablespoons of evaporated milk. Alright, <clears throat> let's add our uh, spices. Like I say, you're going to depend on how many potatoes you got. Since I'm doing one pie, I think I'm going to use my half a teaspoon. Yeah, use my half a teaspoon. So I'm about to put a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm about to do a half a teaspoon of allspice. Right there. I'm about to do a half a teaspoon of cloves right there and I'm about to grate in 
Yeah, I know I grade my nutmeg. I'm a, I love fresh nutmeg and I love to grate it. And I'm going to grate in a half a teaspoon of this nutmeg. All right, let's mix this up. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all, I'm so old school, I'm not gonna even get the mixer out. I'm doing this by far. I'm not dirty up no mixer. I'm the mixer today. All right, I mixed that other half of sugar in there. It needed it. My sweet potatoes wasn't sweet at all. So, that's it, y'all. Let's put it in the pie crust. All right, let me, just, let me show you how a blind man put get his dough into the pan. This is a nine inch round pan that I make my pies in, and I got it um I got it greased up with shortening. Put that to the side. Right here, I have a cardboard cutout of the same inch of the pan. And what I do is I get me I took my chilled dough at the refrigerator, and I take a ball of dough like that, I roll in a ball. I smash it out like this, and I'm gonna take it and put it on the center, the center of that right there, on the center. And let me show y'all. Flour rolling pin, and I'm gonna roll this piece of dough out until I feel this circle. Roll it out until I get it on this whole circle here. Right there. Show y'all how a blind man do pies. Y'all think blind people can't do what y'all do. I'm about to show y'all what I was taught. All right, when you get it rolled out on my little cardboard like this, I'm gonna take my pan, put it on top. Show you how blind people make. We make things work for us. Let's show my pan is over here. I try to put a little dough over the fat, over the cardboard. So, all right, I catch it like this and flip it over. Let's see here. My dough should be in the pan. There we go. Now I'm about to see it's right there. Now I'm going to take it and just let it sit in there. See how I do that? Look. Let the dough fit right into the pan. Let that stay because I'm going to do some, I'm going to put a lattice on top. Y'all know what lattice is, huh? When you put the stripes and make, make the pie look cute on top. Okay. Let it fit in there. That's it. Y'all see how I got that crust in there? <laughs> I told y'all. I'm a bad boy when I want to be. Okay, now we can trim those edges off like that. Trim that edges off. Like that. All right. Now let's fill our pie. Let me get that out of there. Let's fill our pie up. All right, let's fill it up. Up. All right, y'all. I level my pie out. Now I'm put. I'm about to put the lattice on um, top on top of the pie. All right, y'all. Here you go. I got the lattice work on top right here, and I'm about to put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check between 30 minutes and 45 minutes and see if that's the um, if that's how I want the pie to be. And that's how I make my sweet potato pies. Y'all see that work on top? I'll show you how to do it one day. <laughs> All right, y'all, look at that. I just took out the oven. It's been in there for 30 minutes. So what I do when it's fresh out the oven like that and put my mittens over there, I get me some melted butter. Give me some melted butter and I brush the top. So I brush the top with some melted butter and make it pretty. All right, y'all, there you go, right there, freshly out of the oven with the butter on top. And let's put it in this dish and put it on this serving tray. All right. And pretty much, y'all, there go your deep dish sweet potato pie. 
Um, you let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes, flip it over and put it in your glass serving tray or whatever. I may taste it for y'all. I really didn't want no pie, but I'm going to taste it. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> there it go. Y'all see I didn't cut me a piece? Yeah. Look at that pie. That is a sweet potato pie, baby. For Thanksgiving, Christmas, or for whenever you want it. I got to say, for a slight fee, I'll bake it for you. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, my good people. Hey, here go your favorite blind chef. Yeah, I'm going to call myself that now because I can cook. I can cook everything, but I can cook most pie time. Let me put it down here. All right. Let's see. How did I put it on my salsa? Let me get right here. Right here. Ready? Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, baby. My people taught me well. Oh, yes. Mmm. Oh. I need this some milk. All right. Y'all seen the blind man make it? Go make it some. Or pay me and I'll make it for you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good one. Mmm.